today we're here with Paul from Dish, and Paul's going to show us something that's a little confusing. And the reason I say it's a little confusing is because the Hopper system has won so many awards for its screens and its design that they're changing it. Why are they going and changing it? Well, one of the things we wanted to do is really bring it up to date. We wanted to give it a more modern look and feel for, for starters. And one of the things we really want to do is uh, simplify it. We've added so many features, we've added so much stuff to it that over time, for the average customer, it's kind of hard to use in some places. So we really wanted to simplify things down. But for the up and coming customer, you know, people are expecting UIs that look a lot more like this. It's just an expectation today. The current UI on the hopper is based on 10 year old technology. So it was time to give it that refresh, elevate it to that next level, and make it even better than it was. So show us what we got. Okay. So starting off, um, we have a brand new remote that we're uh, featuring with with the new hopper. Um, so for example, if you go into the guide, now you're seeing a uh, much, much flatter look and feel, brings out much of the dish brand, but you're seeing a lot more contrast than we ever had before. Uh, so much easier for people to use. Um, be able to use the, the touchpad to just scroll through the, the remote much more easily than just endlessly clicking uh, through it. Um, one of the things uh, you'll notice is that the preview window moved. It was over there. Well, we're a Western culture. We read from left to right, top down. You know, the first thing you want to see is, am I where I thought I was? Like you're, when you're in a web page. Well, looking at the preview window is sort of an ancillary thing. You just keep an eye on, is the commercials over? Are the commercials over? That sort of thing. Also has a much more natural flow, so that when you're clicking on something, say down here, you see it, the summary over to the right instead of having to look clear up at the top. Uh, we also shrunk the header so that um, now you're, you're actually seeing more channels as well. Um, if you hit info and actually go into program, actually most of this you've seen today it was actually based on new designs. Um, so the, the current Hopper UI today uh, actually was borrowing from future designs. Um, so much more organized, still have a few visual anomalies, don't pay attention to those. This is very prototype sort of mode. Um, let's see, and, and if you go into the, the main menu, you'll notice some of the kind of design philosophies you've seen in a lot of apps and, and so forth on your phones and, and so forth. One of the things we're doing going forward though, uh, sorry I, I screwed this no, no, up. There's, there's glare here from the, the all the lights. Yeah is a home screen. Mm -hmm. So this is just the phase one of kind of a home screen where everything is customized just for you. Uh, in this case, just for the household. So that based on time of day, the shows you always watch, maybe things you've ex explicitly declared. I, these are my favorite channels. These are my favorite shows. That that'll all be right here waiting for you. Instead of endlessly surfing through the guide or VOD or any of that, you just go in one place. And then over time, we're actually looking at having this for everybody in the household. So for example, this might be for mom, but you come in, oops, I screwed this up again. One second. I got this glare, so I didn't see yeah, where I was. There, go. there we go. This might be for uh, mom as well, or dad. Uh, let's see, hold on, we have other examples here. So if I can get, there you go. the kids come home from school and boom. Uh, Timmy comes home and says, I want to watch my stuff, and this is what he sees. So it makes everything so much more sim simple. Over now, time. I understand you also simplified the settings, yes. which has been a, a major issue because it's hard to find things in yes. the old settings. Yes, so went into the settings, and they are very much, they'll look very familiar, but they are, in, in fact, very reorganized. And what we did is everything that's really of value to the customer or a way of kind of customizing your experience is right in right in the main settings. But one thing we do have is, uh, and it's not actually shown here, in the final version we're going to have one called Diagnostics. And that's where you can go in and look at all your whole home settings and all the technical nitty gritty if that's what you're interested in. But most customers, they're just looking at how do I set up my parental controls or closed captioning? Now, I see one on there that interests a lot of satellite guys member down there at the end in the middle, which that is called text. text. Yes. Can you show us what that does? Yes. Um, and now I know the a settings, lot of people have been waiting for this one. Yes. So, for example, in the guide today, this is actually the, the large text size. Um, but 
Uh, the way we have it for this prototype demo at the moment, just to show how this would work, is you could change it from large to small, small to large. And then... There we go, we go back to the guide and there's and, the regular size. And there size. you go, that's the regular size. Where we also are having a setting called uh, increased contrast, so that like when you're in the guide, this gray might actually get darker, so that if you're still having issues, or you have a very brightly lit room, for example, it's not just for people with sight issues, um, you can actually increase the, the contrast as well. Now this will be made available to the Hopper Whistling and the original Hopper as well? Yes. Yes. And, and looking at second quarter sometime later on this year? We're looking at summer. Summer right. around summer. All right, Paul. Well, thank you very much for showing us the demo. Thank you. Well, guys, that is the new interface. You're going to love it when you get it at home. It's really fast. And uh, again, it's slightly prototype. We're seeing the, the remote still working out and the, the guide still working out, but it's really sharp. And that's coming later on this year from DISH.